Welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to build a pop-up model in webflow let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in webflow i need you to click the get free option and just follow the on-screen instructions Creating a pop-up model in Webflow is a straightforward process that would involve using Webflow's built-in interactions and elements to create a model window that can be triggered by user actions. Now, once you are in the dashboard, now first is, and I want you to go to the upper left corner, the plus button, and we're going to add a dev block. All right now here, after that, now I'm going to rename this as this one and then now i want you to hover to a position and go to the fixed option not static and then we wanted to make sure that you put a value of 99 here and press enter after that click on save and then now the next thing is i need you to click on this option all right and then now here i'm going to change the background color Right now it's none so i'm gonna put in type in a color if you wanted then set the opacity to uh very low and then choose the pointer of the mouse not auto the cursor i'm sorry choose the pointer all right now here now once you've done that i need you to click on the body the dev there's gonna be an option here where you can select the parent element to the body or the uh the div block you can convert that to container grid link block and custom elements but the thing is you need to check the add interaction trigger here because you can use the mouse click top the mouse hover and of course you can move over the elements when you see when you click on the create component you can add in another information here for example and these guides And of course you can select that to the group if you have created already All right so that one so now when you have your mouse you're going to be having a pop-up model workflow here on the web flow the thing is and of course you can always experiment with a new features or content presentations in a controlled environment here with the models you can conduct a b and testing on different offers messages or designs to determine what resonates best with your audience okay and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video